Hello, Robloxians, and welcome back to Bloxy News, your one-stop place for Roblox news, drama, and more. Now, guys, the first thing I want to talk about today is what is called Roblox Rewind 2017. Now, if you don't know what Roblox Rewind is, it is basically, well, YouTube Rewind, but in Roblox form. And if you guys don't know what YouTube Rewind did, it is basically a video commemorating everything that has happened over the past year, which is being 2017, of course. So I recommend you, I recommend you guys go watch this news if you haven't, because in Roblox Rewind 2017, which is actually made by APAC with Smarties, by the way, shout out to him, it's literally basically the same thing as the real one. And I think it's pretty cool. So I'm going to show you guys a snippet of the beginning of the video, and if you'd like to check the full thing out, it'll be down in the description below. Anyways, let's take a look at Roblox Rewind 2017. Pretty cool, right? And again, shout out to APAC of Smarties for making this. And again, if you want to see the full thing, it will be down in the description below, the link to the video. Now, the next story has to do with some more leaks regarding the new Roblox avatar called Anthro, if you haven't known that already. And before I get into showing you these, these new images, I just want to point out one thing to you guys. So in my news video a few days ago talking about the two new Anthro skins leaked, a lot of you are thinking that Roblox is actually removing R6 and R15 and replacing it with Anthro. And that is 100% not true. Anthro will be an option and you are not forced to wear it. So you will still have R6 and R15. I don't know about R6, I hope they still have R6, but they definitely will still have R15 as an option. So yeah, I hope that solved any confusion. But anyways, let's get into showing you guys some of the new leaks and images regarding Anthro. Alright guys, so the first image you can see right now is a picture of the uh, avatar editor. Now, this is, these pictures are from Max G on Twitter if you'd like to go follow him or take a look at him. I'll leave a uh, picture up on screen right now. Now, keep in mind real quick, this is not out for everyone yet. It's just out for a few people that are testing it, I believe. Which is one of them is Max G, of course. But anyways, as you can see, there are going to be two new types of scaling options you can use for your avatar if you do happen to use Anthro. So the first one is body type. Now, I'm not exactly too sure what body type is, but, I might know what the other option is, which is called Proportions. It's, uh, it kind of sounds like a geometry problem. Anyways, I think Proportions are the ability, or might be the ability to resize, or like make your limbs uh, bigger or smaller. Maybe, I'm not exactly too sure, but I guess we'll find out once it is released to the public. Now, these next few images on the screen are the Anthro body types in-game, or in Roblox Studio. And as you can see right off the bat, <laughs> they're pretty tall. Now, one thing I realized is actually they don't, they don't look like humans as in the RDC show, but I believe they do have anthro limbs and such, and uh, they might still have the actual uh, anthro real looking human thing, especially since of those skins that were leaked before. But anyway, there are two types of anthro leaked in these pictures. Why? I don't know. They're kind of weird. But the first one, which is on the left, is called Anthro Narrow Blade. And as you can see, the arms are a bit different than the other type, which is uh, on, the on the right side of it, called Anthro Narrow. Now, I'm not, I'm not exactly too sure what the difference between these two are, except the hands. But, let me know what you think of these two types of Anthro avatars coming in the comments below. So, you guys know the game called Adopt and Raise a Cute Kid? Well, if not, it was, well, to put it short, <laughs> that one game that bigger YouTubers use to troll with admin commands? Yeah, that one. <laughs> but anyways, if you guys didn't know, the game and its developer, known as Tremity or Games underscore Page, were, uh, they were banned off of Roblox. Well, not they. He, she, he, I'm pretty sure it's a he. Anyway, so on Tremity's Twitter, which is at TremityR if you'd like to follow him, he posted some emails between him and Roblox trying to figure out exactly why he was actually banned in the first place. So I'll read the emails out to you guys now. So Tremity started off, uh, message by messaging Roblox by saying, Dear Roblox, my two accounts, Tremity and Games underscore page, were recently banned. I received no real description on my ban note, only something that says, and this is the moderator note he got from when he was banned, says this account has been ban uh, closed for violating the Roblox Terms of Service. And he continues by saying, 
it'd be great if I could get a better explanation on this so I could appeal my ban accordingly. I create content for users every day in Roblox and I've amassed over 600 million place visits doing so. I love the platform and I've played every day since 2011 and I think this is very shocking to me. I also have a YouTube with over 35,000 subscribers that I gained in the past two months. Please give me more information on this and expand upon how I actually violated the terms of service. Thank you, John Kanata, probably saying that wrong, aka that's who Tremity is. So Roblox or someone from Roblox named Joe responded back by saying, Thank you for contacting us about the issue. Your account was correctly banned for creating a phishing game that was designed to scam other players. The penalty for this event will not be changed. Wow, so apparently he created a uh, game that scammed other players. Not exactly too sure what game that is, but if I do have any other information, I'll leave it in the next news video. Anyways, keep saying, please review the Roblox community rules to avoid any future moderation to your account. Keep in mind that severe or repeated offenses may result in a harsher penalty on your account, up and including its permanent deletion, yada yada. All that sincerely, Joe, Roblox appeals. Then Trimity responds back by saying, Hey Joe, I honestly have no idea what would make anyone think that I've created a fishing game to scam other players. I believe that there is a big misunderstanding that my account should be looked into further before it being completely closed. Could you give me more information as to why Roblox thought I created a fishing game? And over a million people play my games on a daily basis, and I can assure you that I would never create a fishing game designed to scam players. I have a lot of Roblox income due to the large amount of traffic on my developments, and I would never have a reason to fish my accounts. Please look into the situation more. Thank you. Then Roblox responded back by saying, Hi John, I apologize for the confusion created by your last response. Although your accounts were correctly deleted and will not be open, the reason provided was not accurate. Your accounts were deleted because they were repeatedly caught participating in real money trading and uh, illicitly attaining Robux. Huh. Tremity responded back saying, I understand that some of the activity in my account may look suspicious, but I have not participated in any real money trading after I was warned for once. Oh, so he's done it before. Ooh. I have never illicitly obtained Robux as of all it is from, or as of what it is from my games. I have over 600 million place visits, he's mentioned in the game for some reason, and all my Robux revenue comes from there. You can check my purchase on my account and see that I have donated quite large sums of Robux to people. For example, I donated the streamer 40,000 Robux and he was so excited. It really made my day and his as well. He leaves a link to that video. I really hope this can get resolved and have my accounts restored. I love providing content for the millions of people that play my games and everyone is very disappointed to see my accounts gone. And then the final email which is uh, Roblox responding back is saying, We're sorry but we're unable to provide with you any further information or response regarding this inquiry. We encourage you to review the previous information sent to you as we have provided you with all that we can at this time. However, if you need further assistance with a different matter, please don't hesitate to let us know by using our support. Sincerely, Chris Roblox Appeals. So yeah, apparently Roblox wrongly banned Tremony, and according to Tremony, as you can saw in those emails, they are not and banning him, and Roblox just kind of left Tremony on scene there. Now on his Twitter, he posted a little note explaining what exactly happened. And the note reads, I won't be uploading, re-uploading my game, and I probably won't be returning to Roblox. I'm not even 100% sure why I was banned in the first place. They even gave me three different answers so far, as you can see those emails. Feel free to read the emails, that's what we just read. Roblox has played a major part in my childhood, and I am very grateful for the experiences I have had along with the revenue I've been able to accumulate, accumulate at such a young age because of it. Again, he's accumulated over 600 million face visits, mentioned three times within the past two years. I have helped Roblox with major bugs and glitches and received the red banded top hat and white bat, uh, boss top hat Sorry for doing so. Despite everything I've done for the platform and everything I've contributed, I'm clearly no longer welcome on Roblox, and I never will be. Wow. And thank you to everyone that has played my games, and thank you to everyone that has helped me out with anything whatsoever. And he says that he's going to post a video on his YouTube channel at Johnny, I guess you want to go check it out about what has happened. Goodbye. And that is where he stopped off, so yeah, very interesting to see that, and we'll have to see where this goes from here. That's all the information I have on why he was banned so far. Again, if I do have any more, I'll make sure to let you guys know on the next news video. <sighs> Alright, you guys. Remember my last news video where I explained that the Roblox public forums were officially being removed on December 11th, 2017? Well, that day has sadly come, and the forums are no longer available. If you do happen to go on the forums page, which is forum.roblox.com, 
you will be greeted or farewelled, I should say, with this message as you can see here on screen right now, saying the Roblox forum is no longer active. So yeah guys, another sad moment in Roblox history, but hopefully, 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 crossing my fingers, Roblox will fulfill their promise and maybe bring you back a better version of the forums next year. Let's just hope they actually do that. <laughs> the next story for today has to do with the Roblox gifts I leaked in my most recent Roblox leaks video. Go check it out if you haven't already. But in that video, I showed three gifts that were coming to Roblox and what I thought might be inside and what might, uh, one might, might, what might come out of them. Now I also explained some ways you could obtain these gifts and one of the reasons, uh, one of the ways that I thought you could, I was right. They're going to be releasing these gifts into the catalog throughout December for free. That's why right, you can get them for free and will be unwrapped uh, sometime later. Now Roblox is calling this their Holiday Giveaway 2017. So in the blog post, which you can find in the description below, they will again be releasing three gifts into the catalog throughout December, and these gifts will stick in your inventory as a gift you can actually wear on your head, by the way, until it gets unwrapped late sometime later in December. And in case you guys didn't know, actually, the first gift called the Festive Gift of the Winter Wisdom is out now, so go pick it up for free if you would like it. Which leads me to a theory on what is most likely going to come out of this Festive Gift of Winter Wisdom. Now if you go to the actual item page, it says that it is a shoulder item, or accessory and a shoulder item. So this means, if we look, take a look at the Roblox Leaks page, it could either be the Salt Shoulder Mouse, which you can see on screen, or the Snow Owl. And I'm, uh, I'm leaning more towards the Snow Owl, because if you actually look at the description of the gift, sorry about that, that was my phone, it says, Winter Wisdom is in flight. Who knows where it will land? And of course they refer to flying and landing, which is most likely going to be the bird, and the snow owl is a bird. So I am 90% sure, maybe even more, that the snow owl will come out of this gift. Now again, I could be wrong, but let me know which one you think would come out of this gift in the comments below. And the final story for today, I thought it was a little fun one actually, is that if you take a look at a front page of the Target magazine, you could possibly see the uh, Roblox on the front page of it. Which just shows you how much Roblox has grown, well, mostly toy-wise, as you can see, over the past year. That is absolutely amazing. But that is going to conclude it for today's news episode. If you have any news you would like to report to me that I miss in this news episode and would like to report in the next one, feel free to follow my Twitter, which is at Bloxy underscore news, and give me news to report there, or go down in the description below and join my Discord and report the news there as well. With that being said, if you guys did enjoy this video and like to stay up to date with the latest Roblox news and drama, make sure to leave a like in the video, it would be greatly appreciated, along with subscribing with notifications on to never miss out on the latest Roblox news. So again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye Robloxians!